I'm Jeannie from Jimmy Beans Wool, and I'm here today to teach you how to join a new ball of yarn. My son, Chris, his girlfriend, is so cute. She's 16, and she is learning to knit, and she is continually asking me how to do this. And so I sat her down and said, this is what we're going to do. So for this demonstration, I just knit a teeny little swatch, and Greg's going to try and zoom in here. Okay. There we go. He says, okay. And you can see that I've already cut my yarn. So in theory, I've run out of yarn on my black, and I need to you join a new ball to my work. So what I'm going to do is just knit a couple of stitches with the old yarn, if I can actually get it to go. I may have cut it too short, my goodness. Um, it is good to join this way when you have a little bit of a good tail, okay, because if it's too short then later it's hard to weave in. Now I'm using gray yarn just so you can really see the difference here, but um, you take the old yarn and the new yarn and you'll notice the old yarn is going to my right, the new yarn is going to my left, and I'm joining the two together. Can you see that? How's that? You can see the one tail there, and then I'm going to have a tail of the black. Does that make sense? Looks good. Alright, so now I'm going to knit just a couple stitches with just the two held together, just like this. I'm going to knit three. Now I drop my old yarn, and in theory, of course, this would be black. The gray would actually be black, but this way you can really see and knit the last two stitches with only my new ball of yarn. I'm going to turn this around so Greg can show you. There's my working yarn and here's my yarn that's joined in there. Okay, and I will work over here just so you can know how you continue to go on. That's why I only did a few stitches. And you just knit over to those two that are joined together and you want to be sure you recall, remember, that there's actually two strands together that you want to work together. Because if you work them separately, you're going to have extra stitches, and that will make you crazy. Look, I split my yarn. I'll just take that off. And you knit those across. Finish out your row. Later, you will come back in and weave these two tails in securely and you have joined a new ball of yarn. Um, I love this technique, it's very handy. Once your piece is blocked, the stitches, the extra bulk on those two strands together do not add anything. You, they just disappear once you've washed your piece. So enjoy and that's the very basic way to add a new ball of yarn. Happy knitting, thanks for watching. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night There's kids on the corner Stuck in a switchblade fight And the rock and roll bands Play for 